The solar system is not only the most expensive part of our bus conversion, but also the most important. So for the last few months, we have spent our time planning and researching, installing and connecting solar panels, and speaking with the team at Wise Energy to design the perfect system for living full-time off-grid in our self-converted bus. Here's the whole process start to finish. Lucky I'm filming today because we actually went and picked up the first component of our solar system. We got our server racks as well as the wall that's going to divide the inverter and the battery pack from each other. So I'm just going to go take it over and have a play, make sure everything fits right just because I'm so excited. How good does it look? It's going to be so cool to see the whole system put together and then just see it in its place. But I'm already excited. This is actually cut out and it just looks beautiful. So we'll essentially just be able to cut off the side a bit more, I would say. It's just this part here that I think is the difficult part. And then we'll be able to actually lower it down. So see, that's a little bit too big. And then I think that too. And this is so exciting. <laughs> Over the last few weeks of building the bus, our priority has been our solar system. And I'm really excited to say that I've got some footage from the warehouse of our solar system being fabricated and put together. And it is looking amazing. The team at WISE is seriously doing an amazing job and we cannot wait to get our solar system really soon. to actually be installed there's a few steps that we still have to take before it can be brought onto our property we need to actually seal up the gas door and ventilate it out away from the solar system as well to then get compliance with our gas putting in that retaining wall between where the solar batteries are going to sit and where our inverter is going to sit. This box isn't perfectly square, so like the whole thing's a little bit, a little bit out, but I'll be filling all those gaps with uh, silicon and then we'll have like a, uh, a sealed patch coming through so the batteries can feed into the, um, into the house system, which will be, oh, that'll be a milestone when we cross it. Watch this space as our solar system is arriving today. Woohoo! You excited now? Because I am. I've been excited this whole time. I swear. No stress. Forty-eight-five thousand. The servo, which you're going to try and do without, but um, put one on. Legend. We put a larger controller on it, and as I said, that was just a demo one to try and cut the cost down a little bit. And I've given you plenty of battery cable because I wasn't sure how far we we wanted to go, and then you might want to yeah, yep, secure it. Do we want to try and put this in? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still going to go this way with that? Yeah. And not that way. I mean, it's yeah. entirely up to you. It's just going to be a little bit awkward getting the the batteries in. The yeah. battery in. Once they're in, it's fine. It's just that I don't want to lose all this storage space. Yeah, I totally get it. Which that that'll fit that little Honda generator, I reckon. Yep. So then just have it in one or place. 
whatever I <laughs> whatever you put, find. Whatever I put yeah. there, because I put the generator somewhere else, so I don't have petrol in the batteries or. Yeah. Like it just gives us more storage space, and we need as much as we can get, obviously, as okay. you would know. I'm so happy that you went for the larger inverter. Yeah. You're gonna, like, We're oh. glad you convinced us. Like, you're gonna need, like, you will need it. So. Yeah. Uh, we'll just drop down for a second and move your screws out of the way. Yeah. I think if we go up. Yeah, like flat and then tilt it up. Yeah. It's heavy, hey? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Uh, or do we go in the door straight in? Yeah, that'll oh, yeah, be the best. Yeah, option. that's gonna be in the door. Because then yeah. the leg can rest on the actual. Yeah, let's go that bus. way. That's where we might have to tilt it. Uh, tilt it. Okay. That way. That way. Okay. Are we able to keep going? Yeah. I just didn't want to scratch it. How much room you got? Yeah, it's not. It's more about weight. Oh. oh. We too high. We too high. That's that's life building a bus. Like nothing oh, yeah. quite goes no, straight in. No, hey? look, and as much as we try and visualize it, our solar system is getting surgery now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, and rest on this rib. Yeah. Let's try that. Yep. How's that? Yeah, I'm, I'm on. Yep. I reckon that'll be the go. It's, it's so slick. Um. So when I had mine in my bus, I didn't require any extra ventilation. Yep. So we'll just keep an eye on the temps mm -hmm. and, and see how it goes. Had, uh, and if we need to, we could probably Make sure I fit a fan or something yep. into the door. Yep, that one's good too. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet electricity. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so lovely in there. Against the red too, it pops. <laughs> Didn't open any presents for Christmas this year. No, this is a good present. <laughs> this is a good present. So when you when you grab another battery, it's just battery to battery. Yep. Nice and simple. So awesome. It'll come with another set anyway. Be interesting to see how five kilowatt hour goes. Yeah. Like, I mean, I've got seven and a half kilowatt in my caravan You're right. you can always be greedy yes. and have more yep. you sort of grow into how much power you've got do we want to set it up there yep yeah Got this down here. but this is the most cost effective ways to buy to buy your batteries for yeah sure. one Hmm. Just go that way. Two. Like they'd been out of the way anyway. Cool. Uh, maybe we want to put that right for the moment. You'll sort it out which way you want to put them. Mm -hmm. Um this earth would probably be ideal maybe through here, nut and bolt through there. Oh yeah. Yep. Grind it off a little bit so yep. you expose yeah, the metal. Nice. Yeah. And then that one runs through for the comms for yep. the battery. But at the moment, we can just put it into the can. And PV's off. Main switch is all on. So if we turn this on, and then just press the start button. Oh, guess through a startup thing. 
And then your inverter switch is just here. Oh yeah. So and you're outputting. It's as simple as that. Wow. That's so good. So we got something we can plug in. We got a load. Um, yeah. That's crazy. I can't like, it's all just connected. Yeah, in like. That's it, in seconds. Yeah. Middle, bottom? Uh, probably bottom. Middle? Wouldn't that be better? So just in case anything goes wrong in there, it's well off the ground. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. Yeah. Great idea. <sighs> That's where I kind of thought if it was turning the other way. You just put it straight in? Yeah. It's just that a moment of difficulty and pain right now yeah it's going to save me a lot of a lot of pain and effort later maybe um, I'm gonna use a block I was gonna say chop it up maybe. yeah <laughs> and that's definitely gonna be the only way I'm gonna yeah. comfortably Safely get it in do it. you wouldn't think 44 kilos is that awkward but it's 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 awkward I'm gonna do my back if I'm not careful <laughs> well considering I'm just over 60 kilos like that's pretty much like trying to put me on the top shelf like it just that's crazy there's still storage space below and there's like a nice platform on top as well and just like that our solar system is in sam did have to do a couple more things to connect the inverter to the batteries through this wall unfortunately we don't know where that footage has ended up so if somehow by chance it pops up somewhere i'll include it but as far as i know i can't find it either way it is in it is working and we have been using it for the last few weeks one of the next videos i want to make about our solar system is going over how it's gone for the last few weeks how we've been using it and how it has been keeping up with our solar needs especially with all of the computer work that we're doing our household fridge a full-size tv and just general electricity needs one of my favorite features of our system is the serbo gx which allows us to to actually access our solar system through the VRM app and once it loads and it actually gives us real life insights and updates on our system how much solar it is pulling in how much solar it's using up and also the state of our battery so I'll be going over this in a future video and giving you guys some of the data and graphs of how we've been using the system not only that, but I do also want to go through every single one of the components in our system and how it's all come together and what each piece is used for. So that way, if you're designing your own solar system, you can see what's gone into our solar system. But if you are just as unsure and overwhelmed as we were, then reach out to Craig and the team at WISE because they will sort you out. And look how slick it looks, guys. We are so excited about our system and we cannot wait to use it out on the road. See you guys next time.